to it. We are joined by Colonel Brenda Muridili. Thank you very much for availing yourself, ma'am. Uh, what do you understand about the uh, events at Worskwell Yanfil Yun with regards to these water cannons that were used against learners? Good afternoon, good evening, and thank you for having us. Uh, what we understand is that uh, this morning uh, there was uh, an altercation between the, between the police as well as the protesters as they were trying to force their way into the premises of the school. But then they were told that the MEC was already inside receiving briefing and that he will be addressing them immediately after he received the briefing. But then they insisted. The police also tried to reason with them. And ultimately, they had to use the resources that they had to ensure that they stabilized the situation. When you say resources that they had, what did they tell you about the resources that they had that they used? There was the use of uh, rubber bullets. There was uh, the police used rubber bullets to ensure that the people do not force their way into the school premises. Were these rubber bullets that were used against parents or learners? They were not used against parents or learners. The protesters were outside the gate, putting their way into the premises of the school. The police had to use the rubber bullets to ensure that there was a, a, the crowd was brought under control. Ma'am, the crowd that we are showing our viewers and that we have been showing our viewers throughout the course of the morning into midday now is of parents and learners. Those are the people that uh, were at the school. Um, so, again, in terms of police response, when you go to a school where there's learners and there's parents, is it justified to use this kind of force against learners and parents? The police will use the force that is equivalent to the situation at that moment. What I am saying and what I was telling you was that the protesters, the, 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 the political commission that was there, all the parents, we refer to them as protesters because they were protesting outside the school and trying to force their way into the premises of the school. Could the police be found wanting here should further action be taken against them for using such force? The MEC for Education, Banyaza Lisufi, is yet to receive a report in terms of what happened when this question was put to him, also of why water cannons were used against learners. We since have understood from our reporter that was due to a private security company. We cannot preempt what the report is going to say. We will have to wait so that the police that were at the scene uh, but responded to this give a report to the management and then it will be analyzed. With regards to the water cannons that were used against learners, what is the relationship in South Africa between the police services and private security companies in situations of protest? The, the security services also assist the police whenever there is a need to do so. With regards to this, with regards to this incident, the particular incident, the security uh, officers were men in the gate, and then as and when they requested the police to assist them to ensure that they keep the protesters outside of the school premises, the police adhered to that and assisted them because before they could even do that, they also tried to consult with the protesters to tell them that. Please wait for the MEC. When he is done, he will be able to address you. But they were trying to force their way into the premises. Mm. So the private security company, they were working in conjunction with the police. Is that what uh, one should understand from what you're saying, ma'am? Yes, that's what I was saying. In terms of the force, again, I come to this, maybe one is reminded of scenes of fees must fall when also learners, you know, rubber bullets were used against them and tear gas was used against them. Um, do you perceive that the police should review and will, I guess, see from the events that will uh, follow or the comments that will follow from this incident in terms of the use of force um, at schools? Is that necessary? Then I'm going to say that I, I am not in a position right now to tell you what is necessary and what is not necessary. I have responded to your inquiry, uh, to your question as to what is going to be done with regards to this particular incident, and I have responded that the reaction from management or the recommendation after the report has been tabled with the management will determine the way forward. Brenda Muridili spoke, speaks uh, for the police. She was speaking to us with regards to the situation at Wurskwal, Jan Phil Yun. Thank you very much, ma'am, for availing yourself.